All right, so there's two major ways to figure out how to simplify fractions, and I'm going to show you both of them. The first one is, well, let's go ahead and take um, a big fraction, so one that, you know, you'd really want to simplify, um, like 24 over 108. Now, the first way to do this is to just, okay, so if we're going to simplify a fraction, we can kind of divide both the top and the bottom of the fraction until you can't go any further. So let's pick a number like 2. We know both 24 and 108 um, are divisible by 2 because they're both even numbers. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and take 24 and divide that by 2. And that would give me 12. And I'm also going to take 108 and divide it by 2. And that's going to give me 54. Well, we know that that isn't simplified. It's simplified a little bit, but it's not simplified all the way. So we need to go ahead and keep dividing. So let's go ahead and divide that number that we just got. So that fraction 12 over 54. And let's divide it by 2 again. So dividing 12 by 54 again by 2, or sorry, dividing that fraction again by 2, gets us, well we know 12 divided by 2 is 6, and 54 divided by 2 is 27, and we're not quite done yet, because 6 and 27, so 6 27 now we know these are all equivalent fractions, 24 over 108 and 12 over 54, they equal the same, and they also equal the same as 6 over 27, but we're not done yet, we haven't simplified it all the way, we've got to simplify it so much that we can't find a number that they both can be divisible by. So we know that 6 and 27 have a common factor still. And we know that common factor is 3. So 6 divided by 3 we know is 2. And 27 divided by 3 we know is 9. Now we know that 2 ninths, the numerator and the denominator, the 2 and the 9, do not have any common factors. So we know that that is simplified. So no common factors, well, other than 1. Oops. No common factors other than 1. So we know that that fraction is simplified. Simplified. Now let's go ahead and take a look at another fraction. I'll show you the other way we can figure out how to simplify it. So first let's do that. Let's simplify this fraction the same way we did the last one. We know they're both divisible by 2. So let's go ahead and just divide them both by 2. So that's easy. We know they're both divisible by 2 and that gives us 4 over 6. And we can do it another time because we know 4 and 6 are both divisible by 2. So that's, let's see, and that would end up 2 over 3. Now those aren't, the 2 and 3 do not have numbers that, they don't have any common factors. We know that that's simplified. But I'm going to show you a faster way. The way we can do it in just one step. So let's go ahead and take our same number, so our 8 twelfths, I'm going to write it again. This is the second way. This is the faster way. It's not always possible, but it's a faster way. So 8 over 12. Now, 8 over 12, we know that they have common factors. The common factors for 8 and 12 would be, we know they both have 1 as a factor. We know they both have 2 as a factor. We know that they both have 4 as a factor. We know that they both have, oh wait, sorry, that's all their factors. So 1, 2, and 4. So instead of dividing them both by, instead of dividing them by 2 and then divide that fraction into 2, let's just go with their greatest common factor, in this case 4. So go ahead and divide 8 over 12, the same number we were looking at earlier, by the greatest common factor, instead of just dividing 2 and then dividing it by 2 and then and so on and going on. You know, this is just faster, so let's divide them both by the greatest common factor. As long as you do the same thing to the top and the bottom, remember it's an equivalent fraction. So when you divide them both by 4, the greatest common factor, we get 2, because 8 divided by 4 is 2, and 3. We have 2 over 3, the same thing. These are the same. 
We just found them a little bit different way because we used the greatest common factor this time instead of finding, instead of just using two as the factor like we did over here. So using the greatest common factor, we, we simplify it. So we know that that's still simplified. So, but but this, this way we simplified it using using the greatest common factor. And that's just a little bit faster way of doing it. And it's not always the easiest way, and sometimes you might have to do, you know, a mix of the two. You don't always want to use the smallest one, two, or whatever it is. Um, you can you can try the greatest common factor, and if you, if you don't get it, you can still divide it down. That's okay, as long as they're all equivalent. You, want, you just want to get it to the smallest point. At the point at which there are no common factors other than one. We know two and three, there are no other common factors than one. And another little trick, when the numerator is only one bigger, whoops, when the numerator is only one bigger than the denominator, we know that it's in simplified form. We know that there aren't any common factors. That's another kind of little trick. So anyway, so that's how you simplify fractions.